another MPC 2500 video uh. so I discovered something there are actually four ways to record on this machine now you have the regular standard uh, sample recording it's on every MPC you have the track recording and the audio track you have the loop recorder and now you have this it's a it's a freaking pitch shift recorder and you get to it from the main screen you hold down shift and you you tap on the P shift right there Doink. and then you get into here man check it out I got my guitar plugged into it right now um, Okay, what's cool is you can record this, okay? You can record your jams. So if I want to do a part, you just hit record. It starts recording. So it has a slight, you can use the Q1 slider. So there it is without any. So it goes up a full octave. And then if you use the Q2 slider, it goes down. How cool is that? So you use the Q1 slider goes goes up uh, 12 semitones, and then the Q2 goes down 12. So you get an octave up and an octave down. Okay, and then you hit stop. Okay, and it saves it with without as a sample one so you go to um, the main screen and then you get an audio track up which is what I do you could probably go to the trimmer too and check that out and then with the sample two you hit play and there it is Okay, so pretty cool. So let's go back to the P shift. Uh, as always, you've got your source uh, choices. You can do analog. You can do digital. That's it. You can do um, left, right, or left and right. Can't do any stereo, it looks like. Oh no, they're stereo. Yeah, so you can do all the, all the inputs. I have it on left because it's a guitar line kind of input and then you see the Q1 and the Q2 range so if the slider goes down you can see the range going and then if you go this one it goes minus yeah I have uh, some delay on it going in so you can you put delay on it on the way in this is all on the way in level you can pan it you can choose the outputs stereo outs obviously um, you can also put a filter on it, which is high pass, low pass, band pass, and mess with that if you want. Uh, it's off. So you can kind of mess with it going in. Now the only thing about this, the only drag about this, is there's a delay. Meaning there's, a, there's latency involved. So if you hit the string, there's a slight delay. If you're doing a microphone thing, there's a delay. And, and you can't, that's just the way it is. In fact, if you go to his little instructions here and you get into that notes it's only for voice is not suitable for musical instrument sound I disagree with that I think it's fine for guitar um, the output and output is slightly overdue okay that's his translation for there's gonna be a delay meaning there's some latency it can be only used on the screen it does not work on other screens 
Okay, it cannot use playing a sequence since it's heavy on the CPU. So it's kind of a limited scenario, but you know, this thing is fucking rad. All right, so that's a new thing I just discovered. So we, now we got four ways of recording into this thing. It's just crazy, crazy. I think if you hit the um, open button on any of these, you can name the sample. Right now, sample two, so you can rename what you just did. Um, I think it's for anything. You can just say open, and it goes to that, yeah. So record name. So it doesn't kind of matter where you are on this window, except for this. If you open up this, you actually get the effects, which is cool. Um, but all the other stuff, I believe it goes right to, yeah, that record name guy. So there's that. Um, which is pretty rad. So input through pitch shift. And so it doesn't matter if your input through is on or off for your input. This will bypass it and just, you'll be able to hear it. It's fine. Um, it sounds trippy. You know how it goes with, um, voice pitch shift. You sound like a little alien or a big scary monster. Um, it works on voice. It works on guitar. It works on anything. It's just not a real high quality pitch shift, but so what? It, it's it's fun and it's another JJ I almost consider it's like an Easter egg kind of a crazy little sidetrack thing but there is a, a some latency on it so it makes it hard to actually record anything unless you're not listening to it if you turn the volume down and don't listen to it and just record that's probably the way to go on this thing all right have fun peace